Welcome back, my Heat Hustle fam. Today, you have reached the final challenge. This is gonna be our full body 1,000 rep challenge. Now, I know that you have accomplished the previous five workouts and I am so proud of you. You may be a little sore, but don't worry. So here is what I did for this final challenge. We basically have looked at all the work that we've already put into this past week and I have basically broken it down to where we're gonna hit approximately about 20% of all the muscle groups that you've already hit this past week. So we've got a little bit of legs, a little bit of arms, a little bit of chest and back, a little bit of cardio and core. It's all in there, but I've spaced it out because I know that you'll be able to get through this. So before we get started, as always, you can do everything via body weight, but for this challenge, if you have your fitness toys, break them out. And I'm gonna show you a few things just in advance so that you got these ready. If you guys have any kind of bands at home, grab them. Any kind of light dumbbells, or if you're being creative, I saw someone the other day, they grabbed the vacuum cleaner, which was just brilliant. Um, and then of course an object that you may have that's small, that's around 10, 15, 20 pounds. If you've got a weighted backpack, get it out. Also, if you are using bands today, I want you to have an object that you can attach your band to. So maybe it's probably gonna be something that's really heavy and weighted down like the edge of your couch, uh, which we're gonna use that couch anyways for some tricep work again today. Uh, but if you have something that you can anchor your band down to, make sure that that is nearby. Okay, you guys ready for this? So we're gonna start off our first 100 reps. I'm gonna be a little easy on you. We're gonna take this to a warm up. So our first 100 reps are gonna be rooted in a warm up. Now if you guys have not warmed up before this, pause this video and I want you to spend a little extra time because we got a lot of work to do. Otherwise, if you're ready to go, I'm gonna take you through our first one, which is gonna be my favorite, of course, our basic squat, just to get those legs warmed up. Make sure your heels are underneath the toes. We're gonna go for 25 reps total. Now, as this is a rep-based workout, I'm also going to be looking at my clock. I'm going to be taking this kind of slow, uh, so I want you to match my tempo. If you fall behind, don't worry, okay? I'm going to have some time for you to catch up, okay? So take this at your own pace. Here we go. We're going to begin these 25 air squats in three, two, one. Let's begin. So I'm going to come straight down and straight up. You need to keep your own count at home. I'll throw out when I hit my halfway mark, and then I'll give you a little time parameter as well, okay? So that way you can adjust your tempo accordingly. All right. You guys a little sore? Feel this a little bit? I know it was a fantastic week for the arms and the upper body and your legs, and wow, that, that core workout with Jenny, loved it. All the coaches did a fantastic job. Big shout out to Coach Megan and Sarah and Seth as well for your leaders of the Heat Hustle Challenge. All right, here we go. I am a little more than halfway. I have five, four, three, two, and rest. Next drill. Pretty plain and simple. This is gonna be our windmill. I'm gonna go wide. I'm gonna come down, touch the toe, back up, put this on repeat. We're gonna go for 25 total. Here we go. In two, one, begin. Down, up, two. So you're gonna feel that stretch through your lower back, through those hamstrings. This is not meant to go fast. This is not meant to go fast, nice and methodical. Slow tempo, good. Now I'm reaching back, you see I have my hand coming behind me right there. You don't have to do the same. It just keeps me a nice little counterbalance. All right, our halfway mark. Yes, I know you're trying to wrap your brain around a thousand reps, don't worry. We did it before with the legs. You can do it again with the entire body, right? Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna count this down. I've got eight, seven, six, 
Ooh. Five, four, three, two, and one. Right there, okay. We're gonna back it up, make sure you got lots of space. Two options on this. You've got your good old fashioned skaters here side to side, or I want you to take the side step and squat, whatever works for you. 25 reps total in three, two, one. Let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I hope my counting doesn't bother you. Nine, and 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. If you beat me, that's okay. You get just a little more rest, right? All right, that's 20, five left. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Okay, warming up. Not too bad yet, right? So good news, that was 75 reps. Done. We're about to hit our final one, jumping jacks. This is gonna go quick and fast. So full jumping jack or in and out. Here we go. Two, one, begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, that heart rate. There it goes. Ten left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Okay, we've got 10% down of our workout. Now it's gonna get a little tougher. So here's what we've done. I'm gonna take this. We're gonna start off with just two exercises at a time. So for example, our first two drills that we're gonna do today will be a dragon push-up into a curl to press. Or if you don't have dumbbells, I'm gonna give you guys a lot of modifications. But we're gonna start off with 50 reps of the first exercise, 50 reps of the second exercise, short break, and then put that on repeat. That way we'll mark out full 200 reps right off the bat. Okay, you guys ready? So we're gonna come down for our dragon push-up right here. Dragon push-up looks like this. I'm gonna give you modifications for everything we do today. I go here, then right into it. Okay, here's your dragon push-up. You can also stick with the regular push-up on your knees or your toes. Doesn't matter to me. Do what you can do. All right, so 50 total. We're gonna start in three, two, one, and begin. All right, and I'm just gonna count off every time I hit 10, just to give you guys a little tempo marker, okay? Now, no, you cannot break these up. You must do all 50 before we move to the next. Okay, make sure you're rocking that butt back. When you come down, hands are close to the side of the chest. All right, that's 10. Now, if you start to fatigue out, because 50 is a hell of a lot of push-ups, it's okay if you drop it down to the knees. So when I hit my 20 mark, I'm gonna knock out some push-ups just on my knees, just so that I can last a little longer, okay? And I'm almost there. You can do this. Don't get too caught up in the large number. The way that we reach our small goals our large goals is by setting small goals. All right, that's 20. So I'm gonna knock this out 10, just on my knees, okay? You're taking it at your own tempo. If you need to rest, that is fine, because I'm gonna give you a time marker as well. Good, here we go. Woo, burn, burn, okay. That is 30 right there. Here's how I like to take my little stretch. A little child's pose action. All right, 
I'm going to continue on. I'm going to do 10 more in my knee position, okay? Mm. Ooh, those pecs. Feel that? Oh, burn. I love this. Okay. About to hit my 40 mark. Right there. And I'm going to take another rest break. Now, here's another modification for you guys at home. If you have dumbbells, you can always split this over and take it to a regular chest press instead of the push-up. Okay? I'm going to go for my final 10 right here. Okay, so you guys, let's aim. Oh, maybe not. Nope, I can do it. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to finish this out. We only have to go through these. Woo, can't do it. I gotta come down to my knees. Okay? All right. We're gonna call time in 30 seconds. Oh, it is burning, burning so bad. You got it. Ah, I'm gonna count this down. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Oh, go ahead, you've got some extra time. Finish them out. Now here's something that I also want to encourage you to do. Yes, this is a super challenging workout. So if you're like, Cody, a thousand is just way too much. I want you to take this, split it in half. So rather than doing another set of these push-ups, you get to just rest, okay? I'm gonna give you some rest break. So you won't do a second round. And in that time frame, if you want to instead, I'll encourage you to bring it into a cardio exercise or a jump rope or core exercise, whatever it may be, to fill that gap. All right. So you guys are up on your feet. We're now going to move into our second drill, which is our curl to press. I'm going to walk you through some quick ones real fast so we have a standard curl press. You can use any kind of weight, anything that you can wrap your arms around. If you have this band, you can take this right on top. Same thing, curl, press. Ooh, my band's a little tight. Or basic curls. I want you to hit the arms more than anything. So if you have to modify, take it there. And then, most creative, you've got these little guys. Here's what you can do. Come down, right on that toe, put that elbow against that knee. Curl it right there. And the way that you would do this is 25 on the right, 25 on the left. Okay, you guys ready to go? Here we go, 50 total. In three, two, one, begin. Curl, press. Ooh, I may have grabbed too heavy of weight. Here's a little math question for you. Let's say if you normally would do a set of 20 pound dumbbells on this position, this curl to press, you might want to take it almost about half or a third maybe on your weight because 100 reps is a lot to do, okay? There's so many ways that we can hit this workout from different angles. If we want to really go full-fledged cardio, you go wider on those weights, okay? Really push it through, take little breaks. If you're like, hey, I am going for that. Muscle building team, maybe you cut all of this in half and you just do heavy weights, doing like short little 10 reps at a time, supersetting it that way. There's so many ways that you can change this up to fit your own personal goals. Okay, so looking at my clock, we have about a minute and a half to finish this out. Right here, that is 20. Ooh, good. Now, if you need to modify, keep that count. I can modify this just to the curls. As I said, most important, I know this is two movements in one, most important is that bicep curl. So I'm gonna count that as 25, okay? So don't think you're short yourself. If you've gotta take out that overhead, it's all right. The whole goal is to do what you can. Don't worry about the rest of it, okay? All right, that's 30. I'm gonna hit some. 10 right here, full, ooh, okay, chest, keep it up, shoulder blades back, 
I'm gonna really focus on that curl. And you'll notice I'm doing a little push press to get that weight overhead. A little pop up, right? Okay, got it, got it. All right, 10 left to go. Ooh, come on guys, you got 25 seconds to hit your 50 mark. If you are done, take that rest break. All right, no shame. Actually, that's even the wrong phrase to say because I want you guys to get that rest break in here. That's why I'm giving you a little bit at the end of this round. Okay, we got 10 seconds left. Push it out, push it out. And five, four, three, two, and rest. Oh, let me give myself a little bicep stretch. Oh, that felt so good. Okay, short little breather. We're gonna do both of those exercises. 50 reps, one more time. And then we will technically be through a third of our workout today. Yeah, so it goes kind of fast, right? All right, good. So remember, going in to this next set, you guys are still on rest break, take it, all right? But if you've got dumbbells, you can change it up, it still counts. If you want to come down to your back, I know some of you have invested in some heavy weights. If you want to change this up, get a good old fashioned chest press in instead, do it. Let me join you. Otherwise, you've got those push-ups or your dragon push-ups, you choose. You've got many, many, many options, okay? Here we go, we're gonna start our next round of 50 in three, two, one, let's begin. So if you're using the weights, okay, I want you to notice where does your elbow land? Make sure you're not up here, but right in line with that pec, okay? So here's my visual, this is a fun one. I want you to imagine, you're connecting the dots. Your little nipples, well, connect the nipple dots, and you're drawing a line straight out to the side of your body, okay? That elbow should intersect that line that you have created if you go straight from nipple to nipple, all right? Same thing. Now, what I see a lot of people do when they're doing this chest press, they come here, but when they come down, they go up high. Okay, we don't want to do that. Not for this one. I want you to keep it low. Yes, that is a form of a chest press, but it hits a little different of the muscle group that I want you to hit right now, because I want you to be all focused on the chest. All right, speaking of, that's 20 reps. We should almost be to that halfway mark, whether you're doing those push-ups, this chest press with me with your weights, your dragon push-ups, your knee push-ups, your toe push-ups. I don't care if you're doing a push-up off the wall. I just want you pushing, focusing on the chest. This is our only direct chest exercise of the day, okay? So keep it going, all right. I have less than 20 reps. Catch up with me. I know you need some of those rest breaks, but be methodical. I want you to shorten them to like 10, 15 seconds at a time. Oh, even if you're knocking out, like you'll see I've gone into this mode where I'm doing about three reps at a time, and then I'm taking a little breather, a little rest break, okay? Do the same. We reach our large goals by creating small ones, right? Okay, I'm counting this down. And five, four, three, two, and rest. Oh, chest up, oh, good to myself. That was tough. All right, up we go. Oh, there's my box. Up we go, right here. So we're gonna take it to that curl and press. The most important part is the curl. So if you're using weights, bands, a vacuum cleaner, whatever. Actually, if you're using that vacuum cleaner, here's the, here's the little trick. Now flip it around, okay? Because you're gonna have one end that weighs a little more than the other. So flip it around. All right, so I'm gonna join you guys into just the bicep portion. Keep that overhead if you can do it, right here. So we're just gonna curl it up. Now remember, I want you to focus on that bicep, so actually give it a little squeeze at the top. Here we go. Two, one, 50, watch out, here we come. Right here, okay? So as you do these curls, even if you're doing the overhead, 
Make sure when you curl up, chest is out. Don't let your body do this, because this is going to be natural, okay? All right, setting those small goals. Maybe you're doing 10 at a time. Maybe you're just like saying, hey, I'm going to do whatever I can right off the bat. And then I break it down to small goals. Okay, 10 right there. Filling those biceps. Now a little trick. You don't want to kill your forearms. Don't death grip. Don't death grip. Just light. Okay? Just light. You want to be able to keep control of your dumbbell or your band. But you don't want to overdo it. Alright, that's 20 right there. Whew. Now remember, I'm at a shitty counter. So hopefully you guys are keeping your 50 marks at home. If you have kiddos, this is the workout to work with them on their math equations. Say, hey, mommy, daddy, you gotta mark off. Every time we do 10, mark it off. Find a way to educate your kids while you're doing this. Oh, all right, just surpass 30. We're almost there, y'all. We're almost there. And then we're switching out of these two exercises into two new ones. Now, I will tell you, this, these last two, or these first two that we did, these are the slowest. So everything else is going to move a lot faster. I figured you guys would appreciate getting all the slow stuff out of the way at the beginning. Okay, I'm counting it down. I've got five left. If you're already there, grab that water. Woo. Here we go. In three, two, and rest. Ugh. Biceps. Burnt. Out. Got it. Okay. Taking a little water break. So for this next one, if you want to use weight for the second exercise, uh, grab it. You can have that out. So these are now going to move a lot faster than those first two. We're going to begin with some oblique bridge taps. So I'm going to come down and show you all the ways that you can do this. Okay? So here is your various modifications. We're not starting yet. I'm going to give you the modifications. Okay? So right here, I'm on my elbow. So we take it down, tap the ground, drive it up, hold for just a split second. So it's a pretty quick tempo. So you have this as one. Here's number two. Just hold it for the time that I give you, okay? Or on your knees, right here. You can adjust it or just hold. And then your very last one, if you're like, I don't wanna come down to the ground, what you can do, grab a weight, whatever you may have. We take this kind of right down to the side, it's this oblique that's working, even though this weight, the hand is in this weight. I come up, squeeze, down, squeeze, down. You can do these instead, you choose. All right, either way, we're gonna do 50 on the left side. We'll do 50 on the right side when we come back for round two. Okay, so let's post it up. This is gonna go fast. I'm only gonna give you guys a minute and 15 seconds, okay? Here we go, bring it up in three, Two, one, begin. So it's almost like a second per, okay? You're going for like a little over a second. Notice I put my hand here. This is gonna help me get through this. Whew. I did practice these obliques uh, a few days ago. They're already sore. Okay, that's 10. Good, this is gonna move quick. Now if that shoulder starts to give you any problems, just hold it. Okay, so I did add an element of time. So if you're just holding that plank, do it. All right, that's 25, I'm halfway and I gotta take a rest break. Oh, join me if you need it. Otherwise, keep going, keep going. Okay, six. Whew. I want you to drive that hip all the way to the top. Oh, gotta take another rest break. Man, these are getting me, and those shoulders. You still feel it in those shoulders. I told you, that's why. If you wanted to just do those biceps on the last one, I said overkill it. All right, that's 40. We got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, keep going, 5, 4, 3, 2, and rest. I'm going to finish the two that I cheated on. Oh, there we go. That's our 50. Okay, stand it up. This one's gonna fly, y'all. This one's gonna go fast. Ooh, yeah, you feel that left side only. Don't worry, we'll even it out. Touchdowns, pretty easy. Tap, together, tap, 
The jumping is not your deal. Grab your dumbbell, grab your weights, whatever you have, your backpack. Just take this, do those squats, little baby hops, okay? All right, here we go. In three, two, one, begin. Down, two, stay with me on these. Three, I'm gonna count them out for you. Four, I will give you some break. Five, six, notice when I come down to that squat, my heels slightly outside of that hip line. Toes point out, making a little V action. All right, about to hit our goal. 15, right there, come on. Yes, I know, 50 is a lot. We got it. So remember that 20% cardio I told you about? It's part of it right here. And those legs, a little double whammy. Okay, just surpassed 20. Come on. Now when you go down, see I'm looking at you, so I have to look forward. Don't look down. Okay, keep that booty behind you. Chest is up. 30, taking a break. Keep going if you got it. Whew. Conditioning, conditioning. All right, we're gonna knock this out. I got 20 left and 30 seconds to do it in. Let's go. 35 for me. Keep your count. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and done. Oh, yes. Nice work. Okay, taking a breather. Let's grab some water, y'all. Let's grab some water. Oh, that was good. So right there, obliques. When we come back down to this, we're gonna hit 50 on the right side. So that right there, 400 reps. When we complete this next side, that will be our halfway mark. Okay, I stepped all over my mat. So I'm gonna flip it over, have a little clean, dry surface. Okay, whoo, heart rate, feeling it today. Okay guys, you ready for this? We're gonna get ready for those side obliques. We're starting in four, three, two, begin. Tap it, drive, tap, drive. Good, keep your spine neutral. That just basically means straight from your neck down your back. Okay. Ooh, I'm heavy breathing. I love this. All this conditioning and strength training wrapped into one. That is my 25. Okay, halfway. Halfway, y'all. Get it. I'm gonna take a break at 30. Rest it. Uh, I'm not gonna stop. No. Here we go. Okay, we have 30 seconds to finish it out. If you cannot do any more, come to that plank hold and hang out. Otherwise, you've got 15 seconds. Drag it. Count it down, y'all. Final five, four, three, two, and rest. Oh. Oh, that was great. Okay, a little breather, grab some water. It's okay for us to take rest breaks. We are at 450. That was 450, okay? I'm gonna give you about 10 seconds. 10 seconds. So again, at home, if it's taking you a little longer, I'm building in these break times for all of us, okay? So take it at the tempo that you can do. Okay, here we go for those touch downs. We got our touch down action. Okay, Woo. roll up my, my shorts, I need a lot of room. Okay, we're gonna take this right here. Down, let's go, let's go. That's two, 
Three, here's what we're gonna do for this round. Here at home, following my tempo, I'm gonna do 10 and then break. 10 and then break. Otherwise, you keep going. Nine, 10. 10 seconds to rest. 10 reps, 10 seconds to rest. Again, creating small goals to get to that big goal. Going back in three, two, one, and begin. Two, three, four, five. Sit back in with it, that booty. Ooh. You like feeling all right? Mine are picking up. And 10. 10 seconds to rest. Mm. 10 seconds to rest. Shake them out. Remember, when we go down, shoulder blades back. Okay, that was 20. Here we go to 30. Two, one, and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, we only got 20 reps left. Okay, you like this? See how we're doing this little small goal to get to those big goals? All right, y'all, five seconds. Going for 10 more. In three, two, let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 seconds to rest. We're going for that 500 marker right here. Woo! In five, four, Three, two, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, final two, nine, and ten. Nice work. That is 500 down. We are more than halfway, and the good news just keeps coming in. Here's why, because the next five drills that we have, we're gonna fly a little faster, okay? We're gonna fly a little faster. So grabbing that water, next two drills, we're gonna take this to a reverse lunge and then to some either dips for our triceps or kickbacks. So this would be that idea, if you have this band, I want you to take it and anchor it down. If you have dumbbells, you can use those for the kickbacks. If you've got your couch, take those cushions off again, because we'll take this here for our dips, okay? So those are your three modifications for the triceps, because we're gonna burn them. Like, bad y'all, cannot wait. I'm gonna move this out of my way, because for my reverse lunges, it's just a standing back and forth, okay? 10 seconds. And we're gonna get started. That reverse lunge right here. It's down, back up, down, back up. Here's a little trick. If you wanna try lunges with me today, but you're just not the best at them, quickly go grab your broom. Go grab it, go grab it, go grab it. Because what you can do is take that broom, flip it upside down, take the stick right in front of you. It gives you a nice little support pole to pull yourself up. Okay, I'm gonna give you 10 seconds. Hurry back from wherever you may store that broom. Or yell at someone, make them go get it for you. We're going to start those reverse lunges in five seconds. Here we go. Starting right side planted. We're going to begin. So every time we go back, counts as one. In three, two. <coughs> Excuse me. Water. And begin. Right there. <coughs> Man, you guys hate it when you're... I have like a mix of, it's a little bubbly water. That is not a great idea when you're working out. Little gas bubbles. Whew. Okay, so we're just gonna fly through all 50 of these. Okay, if you've got your pole, take it slower. When I say fly, I mean, try not to stop. We're not gonna break this down as much because we do get a slight little rest every time we switch our legs. Okay, I will tell you when I'm at my halfway mark, 
So when I go down, notice my upper body stays upright, right over that glute, okay? I don't want to bend over the knee. Different type of lunge. Nice and steady. When you come up, press through that heel, squeeze your booty muscle. That's 25 for me. Halfway. I'm gonna give you a little side view. So right here, when I go back, body stays right over the glute. Press through that heel, up and over. Okay, you guys are all ahead of me now, right? Because I took a little breather. Yeah, little tricks of the trade. When I get too tired, I will always think of a modification to stop and show you. Guaranteed. Okay, that is number 40. I got 10 to go. Ooh. 43. 44. 45. You got plenty of time at home. Don't rush it. 49 and 50. All right. So that was kind of like a moderate, very consistent. So if you're breathing heavy like me, this was designed this way. So I wanted to keep your heart rate up pretty high in that like 60 to 70% range. And then we're kind of bumping up on occasion and going pretty close to that 90% of our maximum heart rate. Okay, so guys, let's get ready. For those tricep dips, you have three to choose from, uh, or three tricep exercises to choose from. So you got your couch. Remember, if you're on the couch, chest must stay up. Every time you come up, it's like you're about to scooch up back to sit down. So you only come down to here and up. I don't want you to get your shoulders into this. This is way too low. And see how I'm now hurling over? You gotta be able to stay upright. So when you feel like you go out of this form, go up. So it may feel like even like a little pulse. You've got that option. You have your kickbacks right here. Straight back. Or you've got your bands. Got all the good toys right here. I'm gonna stay with this one. I like this one. I've got all, everything to choose from, so I may just switch it up a little bit. Here's a little trick, switching it up. Maybe you do 10 dips, 10 kickbacks. Ooh, how about that? Either way, let's do 50. Here we go. In three, two, one, and begin. So notice you lock those elbows into the side. Nice flat back, so not here. You gotta push that booty out. Keep it nice and flat. I'm keeping my neutral spine, so I don't want to look forward. I don't want to do this. Nice neutral spine, I'm staying hinged. Make sure, if you guys are using triceps or your dumbbells for kickbacks, don't stand up. You gotta stay low. The angle is everything to activate those triceps. So you're giving me 50. Whew. These do go by fast, which is great. But they are gonna burn like a mother fast. All right, that is my halfway point right there. If you need to break as they start to like burn out on you, take a little break, shake those arms up, but only break for like 15 seconds and then knock them back out. Ooh. All right, there we go with 30. I think you guys are ahead of me. Oh, triceps. Oh. That's 40 for me. Burn. Little tricep. They start to burn too bad. Right here. Stretch them out. Okay, final 10. Final 10. Stay with me. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and rest. Oh. Okay, here's what I'm going to do because we got to take a small break. I'm going to sit, I'm going to catch my breath, and I'm going to stretch out those triceps, uh, just because of me too. I'm fire. Uh, you are doing your dip off of your couch. This guy right here will feel good on those front delts. Right up here. 
and those pecs. Okay, you guys ready for round two? Okay, that was 600. Proud of you. Yes, I know. We're gonna go a little longer than 45 minutes today. I know this, I didn't wanna tell you at the beginning. Didn't wanna tell you, but we're pushing it a little harder. And then you guys get to rest, right? You can rest, you can go back to your regular scheduled on-demand videos, pick them up when you need to. Rest when we're done with this. Okay, let's go back to those lunges. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna stay in front so I can chat with you so I don't get bored. Two, one, and begin. Uh, so, we are super stoked to put this heat hustle challenge together for you. So many of you are like, hey, I'm loving these workouts. Um, I like to have a goal. A lot of you were like, ooh, can we do more arms? Can we do more chest? So I'm like, you know what? Let's take this and break it down even more. If you guys are not accustomed to our regular traditional heat format, doing camps here on site, normally it's a lower body day, an upper body, a full body, and then we repeat that again for three more days. So there's always a great little balance. And we really pride in creating our workouts so that you don't overtrain and that you have a nice little variation. We're hitting strength, we're hitting cardio, we're always getting some core, our awesome Tabata classes. It's a good little variation. So speaking of overtraining, yes, this is a week challenge, which is really six workouts, but we encourage you, don't overdo it. For the prize count, look, just tag us in your videos. We're gonna take those tag entries up until Sunday, tomorrow night, okay? So if you need to space out when you've done these six workouts, that's cool. If you've gotta take more break, Fine. Don't worry about those prizes. You're rewarded anyways from doing these six workouts. Ooh. Speaking of, good news. We are almost there. We're about to finish it off. Or I am. You may already be ahead of me. I'm counting it for eight, seven, six, five, four, and three, two, and rest. Okay, legs done. We are leaving those legs alone. We're not going to bother them anymore. So your glutes and your hamstrings can take a breather. But now we're going back to those triceps. Okay, so choose, choose your poison. You got your dips, your kickbacks, or your bands, whatever you may have. You can alternate it out, it doesn't matter. As long as you're hitting that tricep, switch it out, modify, okay? All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and begin. Kick, most important, lock those elbows in. Almost imagine that you have a rod that goes from your elbow through your rib cage out to the other side and it's just a pivot. Your elbows can't move, shoulders can't move, only that tricep can activate, okay? All right. Oh, and see as I was talking, see what I was doing with my back? That's bad, booty out, flat back. I want you to imagine you have a tray of your favorite wine or beer or whiskey. Whiskey's my go-to. And this, this is the last, there's no more left and you can't get any more, and you're balancing it on your back, which you would never do with precious alcohol, never, but that's just your visual. You gotta keep it steel, and you gotta keep it flat. Woo! Speaking of flat, my triceps are about to give out on me. I only have 20 left, so keep your count. I'm looking at our clock. I'm gonna give us 30 seconds to finish them out. Whew. Remember, small goals to get to big goals. 10 at a time. Ooh. Get it, get it, get it, get it. 
Ah, uh, it's 10. I got one more set of 10. And go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, rest. Done. No more triceps. I'm going to go back to my seated position. Let's grab some water, y'all. Let's get that hydration. That is 700. Nope. 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 That's 850. Eight, no, 800. Oh my God, I am, the wor I am the worst. The worst. 700. Sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. 700 reps down. We have three exercises to go, okay? We've got a back fly in a row, and we've got a jumping jack that's just going to fly, okay? I know we have, we've got about 10 minutes left to go in this workout. The reason why we're going a little longer, and I haven't done this with any of my other workouts, is because the reps, the recovery is very important, okay? I know you're busy, I know you got a lot going on, but this hour is for you, okay? So we gotta make sure we have enough recovery and rest break in between. I'm gonna go ahead and set up and show you the next two exercises. So, for our back row and fly, um, you don't need a lot of weight for this. I'm gonna give you three different variations. So our first one, if you have dumbbells, here, row, out, fly. That's gonna count as two. One, down, two, three, and four. Yes, okay? If you don't have those guys, here's what you're gonna do instead. You've got your band. So with the band, it's the same motion. Row, out, fly. Row, out, fly. And when I row, I pull it back close, right? Okay? Then your last one, if you're like, I don't have anything. All I got is little cans. You're gonna take those small cans, and here's how you're gonna make it hard. You're gonna do like almost an isometric pulse, which I know seems a little contradictory, but you're gonna take your little cans of whatever you have, anything, water bottles, doesn't matter. We're gonna go out wide, and we're just gonna go pulse, pulse, pulse. So it's a very slow pulse for 50. Oh, burn your back. Those are three options. You guys ready for this? Here we go. We're gonna start with that row to fly. In five, four, three, two, and begin. Row down, fly, three and four, five and six. I put in that little and, that reminds me to 10, to break it up, 11 and 12, 13 and 14, 15 and 16, 17 and 18, 19 and 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 for me. You keep going. I've got to take a little breather. Ooh, halfway. Halfway, I'm gonna to switch to my can, folks. If you're using those water bottles, I'm gonna join you guys. Let's go. So I'm keeping my own count. Oh man. Ooh, that burns. I've got 20 reps left, yes. Do you go listen to your triceps too? Strategic, strategic. Sneaking in a little more of those triceps indirectly. Oh, oh man. Okay, that was my 40 mark. 10 left. And then we're gonna take a little breather. Get it, get it, y'all. All right. Ah, bird, done for me. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm gonna give you guys 15 seconds. Yes, yes, yes. And time. Oh, okay. So weighted jumping jack, weighted 
jumping jack. Here's what I want to do first before we do this. I want you to reach down. If you felt your back get really kind of tight, especially if you're doing that isometric pulse, let's stretch it out, please. Stretch it out. Okay, come up nice and slow. So you can either do this weighted or with your body weight, you choose. Okay, so our 50 weighted jump jacks. Out, in, out, in. It's all you're doing. It's all you're doing, okay? I'm gonna use my little water bottle right here because this is basically all that I can lift by the end of this workout. My shoulders are burning, my back's burning. So we're gonna do 50. Here we go. You're gonna stay with me. I'm gonna go a little slower. Ready? Two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, we're going to 25, come on. 20, five, four, three, two, and rest. Thank God I drank all my water, made it lighter. Woo. I'll take a sip, let's empty that out. Okay, 25 more to go. I'm gonna use the air just so I'm not rattling water in your ears in three, two, one. Begin. One, two, three, four. If you're already done, take your break. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Nice shot. Oh, man. Okay. I wish I was in your shoes where I could press pause and take more rest break, but I'm not. But if you've got to do that, do it. Good news is we're going to put those last two, that row and that jump jack on repeat, and we're finishing out with one core drill. And that's it. And we're done. Okay? So you got 10 seconds. We're going to grab dumbbells or your bands or just your little cans of those pulses. Okay, we're gonna start in five, four, three, two, and go. Here's another supplement to this. If you want, if you have a band, you can also take this to one knee and just row. You don't have to do the fly. Don't try to do that, okay? Get enough resistance in it and just row. Otherwise, you're up, you're bent over, then you can do your fly and your row. So you guys are keeping your own count. Aim for those small goals to get to that big one. Ooh. So when you do this fly, notice you come back, there's a diagonal. It's not up to the side. It's a good thing if you're using these bands, you kind of can't go in front. You have to create that diagonal. Okay. That is our halfway mark. Remember you count one rep every time. Every time you do a row and every time you do a fly. So it's got the two for one deal. Makes it go like faster. Okay. We are almost there. You guys, you have 20 seconds to finish this out. That is my 40. Five to go. And 10. 50. Done. Taking that break, only for 15 seconds. Only for 15 seconds. And we do that jump jack. We have less than five minutes to go. Okay, hang in there with me, hang in there. Now, yes, you have my full permission after you finish all six of these videos, especially if you've been batting them in close to one after the other. Take you about a day or two off. You've earned it. Okay, so grabbing your weights if you have it. And take it to that jumping jack. We're gonna break it down. 20, 20, and 10. We're gonna do 25, 25. Three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Keep going, you got it. Woo. Oh. I applaud you if you're still with me on this. Oh, we got this, crew. Heat Hustle Challenge is almost over. The amount of work you have accomplished, oh, you can brag about for months to come. And bug in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ten. Yes, ten. Should we do it? Are you ready? Am I stalling? Do I want to do it? Do I want to do it? Let's do it. And begin. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, done. Oh, lovely. 900 reps down. We have 100 to go. And we are racing the clock. So we're going to immediately grab you a sip of water. Real quick, we just lay down. Good news for this one, this is the last one. We got two minutes. You're gonna love me. I'm gonna give you a choice, because everyone should get to choose. I'm gonna do good old fashioned crunches. You can do bicycles. You get to put in your own core drill, but you have to do 100 reps. You have to do 100 reps. T equal the 1,000 gold. All right, let's bring it down. You've got in your mind what you're gonna do. I'm gonna do my basic crunches, because that's where I am. That's all that I can do right now, okay? I don't need to feel pressure to do anything more. That's why I'm giving you the option. You choose, here we go. In three, two, one, and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. I'm only gonna now count every 10 reps in case you guys are doing your own tempos of different exercises. Just to give you a marker, okay? If you don't wanna count, I got gotcha. you. I can count to 100 in increments of 10. That's 20. Oh, gotta take a breather. We're gonna stop at 50. That's 30, y'all. Come on, 20 more. I can put my hands out in front. Make sure you've got that space between your chin. Okay, if you've got a little towel, put that towel around your head. That's 30, nope, that's 40, sorry. Oh, you trusted me to count them, I can't even get it right. I got you, I got you, come on. Six, count it down to five, four, three, two, and rest. Uh, 50, 50 reps to go. And heat fam, we are done. Come on, let's do it, you ready? Three, two, one, we're gonna do 10 at a time, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Uh, that is 960 reps, here we go. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nine hundred and seventy. Oh, don't you get excited? We're almost there. Thirty reps to go. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10, 9, 80, I love it. As long as you get your shoulders and shoulder blades off the ground, it counts. Here we go, down to the 20. Begin, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Rest. 10 left to go. Let's do it, y'all. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. Ready? And 10, 9, 
eight, seven. You have worked so hard. I am proud of you. Push it out. That's four, three, two, and done. Oh, nice. I feel like I should have a confetti cannon that went off at the end of that workout. Congratulations. You have completed the six workout heat hustle challenge. We are grateful for your participation. Remember, tag us on those videos, either during or what you just finished right now. Let's see the sweat fest, put it in. I'm gonna give you guys until Sunday night to finish all your entries, and then we're gonna choose our winners. We've got gift cards to the grocery store. We have private virtual PT sessions. We have some uh, gift packs with booze that you're gonna love from Craft Collective and Hearts Full of Wine. Cool hand, logis uh, cool hand holistic CBD oils, bath bombs. Uh, we got a lot coming out for you guys. Uh, if you don't finish them by Sunday, it's okay because the reward is also in the work that you did. We are proud of you. Thank you for being part of our Heat family, and we will see you soon.